The other day I was eating my munchies and I always like to share. And I'll toss Cali whatever I'm eating. And I happened to be eating Pringles and cheese nips. And I threw them both at the same time and she went for the Pringles. I tried seven more times and she picked Pringles seven out of seven times. Every time she went for the Pringles over the cheese nips. That gave me an idea. How about a taste test challenge for Cali? But this time we're gonna level the playing field. We're gonna go potato versus potato. But I'm also gonna pick sides here. So my pick is always gonna be on the right. Remember that. Even when she's doing the taste test, my pick is always gonna be on the right. And with Pringles and Lay's, that's a tough one. Let me tell you what, Pringles is good. You get a stack of them, munch down on it. Oh, delicious. Lay's, you pull one out, it's a crisp, salty thing, you know, not a whole lot of flavor, but then, you grab another one, and you eat another one, and another one. And just like they're all saying, you can't eat just one. And for that reason, I'm going with Lay's. But which one will Cali pick? That's what we're here for. What kind of person is she? Okay, here we go. Oh, she's going Lay's for the win. Lay's for the win. She smelled the Pringles, and right for the Lay's. Okay, there's no denying that. All right, she's gonna, she's gonna let the Pringles anyway. Next up, white versus wheat. Now, wheat's healthy for you, that's for sure. Supposed to be better than white. But man, if you got some gravy you need to sop up, if you got some drippings on your plate, you're gonna sop it up with white. You're not sopping it up with wheat bread. You done lost your mind, so I'm going with white bread. You ready? Here we go. Okay, let's say, oh, right for the wheat. Wheat for the win. I didn't know she was so health conscious. Oh, well. Next up, Vienna sausage versus potted meat. Now I know potted meat is just mushed up Vienna sausage, but I like potted meat better. It's spreadable, you can wipe it on a cracker, you can dip it with a chip, so I'm going with potted meat. You ready? Here we go. Going in for the Vienna sausage. Vienna sausage for the win. Wow, she's going against me, she's going left. All right. Next up, bologna versus luncheon meat. Now, I just like lunch and meat better than bologna. There's not a whole lot more I can say about it. Let's see what she picks. You ready? Here we go. Oh, it's bologna. Bologna for the win. Oh, can't believe it. She went against me again. Next up, Oscar Mayer versus Nathan's. Now, if you don't know which one of these is better, you need to go back to kindergarten and get some lessons in life. You ready? Here we go. Okay, this is an important one here. Oh, uh, uh, yep, Nathan's. Nathan's for the win. Oh, we can still be friends. All right, next up, cheddar versus pepper jack. Oh, I love some cheese. I love both of these, but if I'm going to eat a straight up block of cheese, it's going to be pepper jack. But what's Cali going to decide? Remember, Tofield's pick is always on the right. Ready? Here we go. Coming in for the hill. Pepper Jack for the win. Pepper Jack for the win. I'm starting to like her again. Next up, chicken versus fish. Now I got a weakness for some fried catfish, I tell you that. But if you average them all out together, I'd rather have me some Popeyes. Ready? Here we go. Okay, what's she gonna do? Fish. Oh, looks like fish is winning. Oh, she got a whip of the chicken. Switched over to chicken. Let's see how she does. Uh, still going for the chicken. Still eating it. Uh, I think chicken's looking like the winner. About now. Let's ride it out a little more. See what happens here. Still chicken. Still chicken. Uh, yeah, this is my gut at all. Oh, try the fish. I think I'm going to have to give chicken the win on this one. Let's see. Child, uh, miss you went for the chicken first. I'm calling chicken for the win. Next up, pork versus beef. Now here we got pulled pork. 
and beef brisket. And if you never have Brookwood Farms, you need to go get some. And there's about five servings in each one of those cups. And they're about five bucks per cup, so that's a dollar a serving. You need to try it out. It's the best thing next to homemade. Nah, okay, for me, I'm gonna go beef brisket. I figure one out of three times I'm gonna get pulled pork, but two out of three times I'm gonna get beef brisket. So beef brisket for Tofield, but what's Cali gonna pick? Ready? Here we go. Okay, I had a mix up. Oh, she went for the beef brisket. I had a mix up there and I put the beef brisket on the left. I put my pick on the left instead of the right. My beef brisket was the dark one. And beef brisket for the win. Okay, here we go. Next up, and the one we all been waiting for, Coke versus Pepsi. Man, a bitter rivalry been going on for decades. Now, Pepsi's good, but I like Coke better. I'm a Coke guy. Uh, and it should be common knowledge that Coke used to contain cocaine. That's what the Coke is for, the coca leaf. Now, they still use the coca leaf to get the flavor, but they extract the cocaine out of it. But there's still trace amounts left. And I need every little bit I can get. So I'm going with Coke. But what will Cali pick? You ready? Here we go. Okay, here's a big one. Uh, oh, looks like Coke. Oh, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Five licks on the Coke and three licks on the Pepsi. Coke for the win. Okay, now here's a wild card I just threw in at the last minute. Peanut butter versus jelly. I think we all know where this is gonna go, but let's try it anyway. Ready? Here we go. All right, let's see. Oh, right for the peanut butter. No surprises there. Well, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, in the thumbnail, you might have seen some booze. Well, that was for my own personal taste test challenge guys got to unwind after the show and besides Callie's ornery enough as it is I don't want to give her whiskey 